So in this part, I want to talk about how we count and test our board games. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but there's a couple little things I hope you guys will get, get and glean from this. So we'll grab the board game, pop it open, and wow, that looks beautiful. So <laughs> everything is pretty much there. So some games are easy like this. One thing I will note, there's a hair right here. I'm going to take that out. I do not want any little hair, dust, or, or dirt kind of in here. I'm also going to take this out, make sure there's nothing else hanging out in there, no more strand hairs. Some, some stuff comes with, from homes with pets. I love pets, but I don't like pet hair in the games. And to some people, they're very sensitive to that, and you got to be very, very careful. So one way to clean this, you don't want to clean it necessarily with paper towels, because this type of material, it's going to get it even worse. So, uh, so let's say this game, the cards were mixed up all over the place. These were all loose underneath. We would take it, we would count it, we would uh, refer to the directions, and then we would place it all in there. Let's say um, these cards were loose and there was really no place to put it. We have a bunch of uh, loose bags here, uh, little poly bags of all shapes and sizes. I am not sure, probably should have prepared that before this video, but we have all different shapes and sizes of poly bags. And what we would do is we'd take it, we'd put it in a poly bag, we'd tape it nice, and we'd place it back in. So all of our games, there's nothing, if we shake it like this, like this game is pretty good, but uh, maybe I should probably grab another game and see what we can do. Yeah, stuff is shaking around in here, let's see. All right. Yes, so stuff is shaking around in here. So for instance, this game, you could technically leave them in here, but for the purposes of this video, do we have the small poly bags anywhere, guys? Over there, the small ones. Really? Oh, they're over there, okay. So I'm, I would use a smaller poly bag for this. Oh, huh, look at that. Here we go. So here's nice small poly bags. We buy these in bulk, they're very, very cheap. And now, we'll wrap this up. Uh, depending on what it is, you can place it in there or we could take a little piece of small tape. And now, that almost looks like it, that's how it came in the original box. So then we place everything back. Another thing we do, this looks complete. Um, I, what I would do is refer to the directions, make sure it has all the dice, all the pieces, all the pawns, everything's included. I place it here. Do we have the sticky notes as well? Yes, here. And pen, I should have had everything available. We cleaned up and we cleaned up all the stuff we use. Um, so what I would do is, this was $2.99 from Savers, and I'm gonna give it a big check. And the check, it means it's complete. If it's incomplete, I'm gonna write an X, and I'm gonna say it's missing one pawn, missing dice, or it's just incomplete. If I just put incomplete, that means it's missing more than just a piece or two. So then I'll put this rubber band back on, make sure the sticky note's there. If it's not on a flat box, if it's some sort of electronic or something, uh, I'll put a little tiny piece of tape there, but you gotta be careful you don't rip the, rip the um, artwork. So the next thing we do is we take the labels off here. This is a Wagner heat gun. We just put it nice and close to the sticker. You just gotta make sure you don't wanna be using this kind of a heat gun on anything plastic. And some labels get black like that for some reason. But once we do that, this thing comes right off. Look at that. And there's no adhesive whatsoever. If there were adhesive, we have Goo Gone right here that we would take. We'd place it on there. We'd wipe it off. It leaves a little bit of residue. We would take some Windex, spray it on another piece of paper towel, and that comes right off with a little bit of Windex. Um, so that, and then once that's done, this gets placed with that note on the uh, shelf here, everything on this other shelf over there, if you want to uh, pan real quick. Everything on this shelf uh, is tested and has notes on it. And from there, we put it on Amazon or eBay or for lotting. So that's it for this video. Next video, we're going to talk about electronics.